Happy Tuesday to you. Is it creepy with just my eye in the picture? Yeah, super weird. Hello. Hello. I'm Amanda. This is Dan. I've lost 120 pounds on keto. Dan's lost around 60. Uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome to the party. So let's see, how can I catch you guys up? Uh, kiddo stayed home from school yesterday, which means that they went back to school today. They are feeling better just on the mend of a little cold, but I'm getting dinner started while they finish up their dinner and get ready for baths. So real quick, every now and again, when you go to Aldi, you will find chicken breasts. I was gonna talk about it. <laughs> huge. Here's what we're doing for dinner. You guys may remember, if you've been with us for a while, we do a dupe on the Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets, which basically means they are chicken nuggets that are brined and marinated in pickle juice. That is the Chick-fil-A secret, if you will. Dan went to Aldi and did our grocery shopping this week, and he came home with a giant pack of chicken breasts. Well, I just pulled out this piece of chicken to start breaking it down into chicken nuggets, and the size of it is haunting me. Show them. Fun Show them. fact, I'm, a, I'm terrified of birds. I would never want to meet the chicken that this came uh, off of. Here, bring it back so that way they can see it in reference to my face. It's easily like a pound and a quarter. Yeah. For sure. Well, there's four chicken breasts and the whole thing is almost six and a half pounds. So what I'm doing here is a really easy recipe. I'm gonna show you guys. It's labor intensive and in that there's a lot of steps to it, but what you're actually doing is very, very simple. I am going to make these chicken nuggets in the oven today because I want to be able to cook a bunch of them at one time. Very easily could be done in the air fryer, but like I said, I don't wanna do three batches of them in the air fryer, so we're going oven today. I'm gonna break down this chicken. I'll show you guys what you need, and we will get this chicken nugget party started. Chicken nuggets, yeah. Chicken, chicken nuggets, yeah. Chicken, chicken <laughs> nuggets, yeah. Chicken, chicken nuggets, yeah. The magic star to these chicken nuggets is definitely pickle juice. So here is how we handle that. When we go to Walmart, we buy the enormous container of the Vlasic Oval Pickles. We eat these like crazy with hamburgers and we basically just hoard the juice. We still will take a shot of pickle juice from time to time if we're feeling our electrolyte balance a little bit off, but I almost always have a couple of jars of just pickle juice hanging out in my fridge because it works really great in recipes. If you've never marinated your chicken in pickle juice, I highly recommend giving it a try. You will be surprised at how incredibly flavorful it is. So my two enormous Aldi chicken breasts gave me about three pounds diced into little chicken nuggets. So I'm gonna show you that. We're gonna get the chicken marinating in the pickle juice and we're gonna leave it there for about 20 minutes. Then I'll come back and show you what's in the breading. So I've got my three-ish pounds, give or take, of diced chicken breast. And to that, I am going to add two cups of dill pickle juice. I know it looks crazy. You just got to trust me. I know what I'm doing here in the chicken nugget realm. So make sure that everybody is soaking and covered. We're gonna leave this to marinate for about 20 minutes. All right, chicken's been marinating for 20 minutes. Now it's time to make the keto-friendly breading. We are going to start with two cups of almond flour. You could also use a pork crumb pork panko or something like that, but I like almond flour the best. I feel like it really does absorb the flavor. Next, we are going to add a half a cup of dry grated Parmesan cheese. And then I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of seasoned salt. I'm gonna whisk this together and that's our breading. You could jazz this up however you see fit. The Parmesan cheese adds a good amount of salt, so don't add too much salt or seasoned salt. I am going to go ahead and strain this chicken over the sink with the strainer and remove it from the marinade. I went ahead and dumped it out of the pickle juice. Now I am going to take my chicken 
and lay it out on a little tea towel or some paper towels. We definitely want to keep the pickle juice moisture on it, but we don't want it to be sopping wet when we go to bread it. So I'm gonna get it all laid out on the towel. Give it just a second and then we'll start breading. I went ahead and preheated the oven to 375 degrees. Almond flour burns really easily, so you don't wanna turn the heat up way too high. Here is a little peek at my assembly line. I've got my chicken here, that's all marinated. Then it's going to go into the egg, dripped off a little bit, into the breading, and then on to my cookie sheet that's lined with parchment paper. This part is really easy. It just takes a little while because we have gigantic mutant chicken breasts. So we're gonna take a chunk of chicken, dunk it into the egg, let the excess drip off, and then we are going to dredge it into our almond flour mixture. Now I may have overshot the amount of almond flour that I used, but I didn't want to have to go back into the bag. So if you're really trying to conserve your ingredients, you might wanna start off modestly and then just make a second batch of it if necessary. So I am going to bread all of these up and I'll see you guys in nine hours. I'm finally done breading our chicken nuggets and it made me one massive cookie sheet. And then I've got these leftover little guys on this smaller cookie sheet. I'm gonna throw them into a 375 degree oven and I'm gonna check them at around the 20 minute mark. Be careful, almond flour really is fickle. You don't wanna overcook these. Chicken nugget party is complete. I didn't even make a side dish because I'm just not in the mood, to be honest. So I'm just doing a pile of chicken nuggets for dinner and I couldn't be happier. This is my plate right here. I love to do a little bit of ranch with mine and also some Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce. Dan goes with just a giant pile of chicken nuggets and Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce. These are pretty easy, you guys. That's all there is to it, to homemade chicken nuggets. There's a lot of different twists and turns you could take with this. You could omit the pickle juice and just do a egg wash and breading. You could spice up the seasoning and make them a spicy chicken nugget. You can do them in the air fryer. You can do them in the oven. You could even do them in hot oil on a pan. This is just a super basic way to make chicken nuggets at home. Silver lining, even my kids eat these. That's how delicious they are. I hope that you guys make these and if you do, tag me, show me, send me your videos. I love to see when you guys are making our recipes. It just totally fills my heart with love. So have an amazing, amazing rest of your night and I will see you guys super soon. Bye.